Okay, let's open up AutoCAD Lite 2007 up here in Programs and Autodesk, AutoCAD Lite 2007, and one more time. Click on that. Uh, you may have a migration box that appears asking you if you want to bring forward the settings. That's because we have a older version of AutoCAD on this machine and uh, so it wants to ask if it should bring forward settings from there and we're just going to cancel if we get that. Here it is here. Just click cancel and the program will begin to open. It will ask you at first if you want to walk through and see all the new features of the latest. Since we don't even know the old features yet, we're going to say no. Don't show me this again. OK. Every day we're going to have to do that step because here at school the program is reset every day. At this point for now we're going to just close these palettes here. We'll come back to them at another time. By default the drawing that is displayed in here is an ISO 25 and we never use that. It has some preset dimensioning attributes in there that don't work for us. So we're always going to close this lower file. This brings us to this gray area here and this icon is called um, the Q new icon. We're going to click it. We get this select template. Instead we're going to open with no template Imperial and click that and then we have a black screen in front of us. You can see that we're back to standard here. There's no settings in here. Now at this point I'm going to type UN and it shows up down here on my command prompt line. Now units is short, UN is short for units. I'm going to press enter and I get a dialog box here. I'm going to just type A, the, the letter A, which means it will select architectural out of this list automatically for me. And then I'm going to press enter or I could click OK, but enter is the same thing. So I press UN, enter, A for architecture, enter. Now I'm going to type LM. It's shown up here on uh, my dynamic input cursor. So I'm going to press escape to show you how to get out of a command. And I'm going to turn this off for now because for now I want to work right here in this command prompt area. So I'm going to type again LM. That's short for limits. I'm going to press enter. It gives me this prompt here. It's asking me for some information. The lower left corner, it will always be 0, 0. So all I have to do is press Enter to accept that choice. I press Enter. It asks me for the upper right corner. Now, in our example, if we were going to uh, be drawing something that is 3 feet wide by 4 feet deep, you know, we we want to have a little bit of space around what we're drawing, so we could do something like 10 feet, let's say 10 feet, comma, 10 feet, and press enter. The last thing that we do here is we need to do a zoom all. And I can do that quickly by just typing a Z for zoom, then I press the enter key. It does a whole lot of different types of zoom, as you can see. I just want to zoom all. Here, this word here is all. The capital letter A tells me that all I have to type in is an A to stand for all. And press enter. And my drawing is set. Now, I could come in here to my grid. I can right click on that button, go into settings. I can come in here and I'm going to put my grid spacing at one foot. One foot. I just click down into this box here and it will repeat the setting. And I'm going to turn my adaptive grid off. And I'm going to 
I could turn my grid on now, but if I was to forget and just say OK, that means I've changed the settings, but my grid's not on. But I'm going to click it now, and you can see if you look here that we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Hmm. One, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, uh, 11. So it's showing 10 feet with those 11 dots of so 10 feet across and 10 feet here and we're zoomed into that area and that is a basic setup.